Do you live or own real estate here in Central Florida? If so, you're going to want to stick around to hear the latest about our local real estate market and what's coming. I'm Chuck Shaver with the Shaver Group at Keller Williams Heritage Realty, and today I will be addressing the residential West Volusia real estate markets of Deltona, DeLand, DeBerry, Lake Helen, and Orange City as I review the market for the month of January 2022. In January, the median sale price of a residential home was around $277,500 according to our local board. That's up around three grand in the last three months and about 42 grand in the last year. Homeowners that are holding steady and aren't selling are building up equity and mass. The selling price to listing price ratio really hasn't changed. It's still at 100% or, or over. Sellers continue to get their asking prices. I've had a few transactions lately that sold way above asking prices. Typically, these crazy high prices really don't matter as the property still has to appraise. But the winning buyers that I've dealt with that have been helping, that have been purchasing from my sellers, were offering to pay twenty dollars to $30,000 above the appraised value up to the purchase price. Most buyers, however, still think that offering the asking price is going to get it done. But that just isn't happening in this market. It's not working in this market, even with cash. In January, it took eight days for a seller's home to go under contract here in the West Volusia area. This is one full day slower than last month and two days slower than three months ago. This data says things are cooling, but from a listing agent's perspective, I really don't feel that happening at all. We've got just 319 homes actively being marketed on the MLS here in this area at the end of January. That's down about 30% in just one month and down about 37% in the last three months. You may remember that back in the third quarter of last year, the inventory was increasing as really I had predicted. However, that trend has clearly changed directions here in the new year. So far, the interest rates haven't had a significant impact on our, on our market yet. Speaking of interest rates, take a look at this graph showing the interest rates since last January, which really speaks for itself. The rates started low and they kicked up and mostly bounced around 3% over the year, but you see what happened around Christmas time when they took off like a rocket. Currently, buyers are paying around 3.5%, 3.55 I think, which is up from about 3.11% last month and up from I think around 2.73% a year ago. But before everyone starts freaking out about missing out on last year's rates, it's important to remember that these rates are still historically low. So relax and purchase a home when the time is right for you and you alone. So what is impacting our local market? Well, interest rates are the big news, but as I noted before, they aren't impacting sales. So far, these higher rates are just making it a bit more expensive for buyers to get the money they want for purchases. These rates are climbing due to the continued inflation concerns. In their mid-January meeting, the Fed said that their interest rate hike could come as soon as March 1st. The Fed is apparently confident that these supply chain issues are going to lessen, which is good news for the overall economy, but they're well aware of the inflation issues and act as though they're trying to keep the economy steady. Unemployment here in Florida dipped to 4.4%, which is the lowest since February 2020, and this really can only help things. Lastly, where is the market heading? Last fall, when the inventory levels were climbing along with the days to contract, it was pretty clear that things were slowing. However, although interest rates are rising, we really haven't been impacted here in Central Florida in any big way as of yet. While the chatter among my peers and my customers is all about the rising rates, with rates around 3.5%, money is still really cheap. But when we consider the trend of these rates, along with the Fed's pending actions and the continued efforts to restrain inflation that I've been talking about for months, there's really only one apparent outcome and that is for these rates to continue to climb. As they do, there's no doubt that we're going to see things slow down. I don't expect any sort of crash, barring any cataclysmic event like, I don't know, Sharknado or something, but rising rates surely will calm this insanity that I've been seeing with multiple, multiple often irrational offers. If you have questions about the market's future, or if you have any questions about the real estate market here in Central Florida, either leave a comment below or reach out to me directly. Lastly, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. This ensures that you'll receive a notification whenever I share other videos just like this. Thanks for watching and until next time.